Hi, I'm Charles Stewart Jr. I'm going to show you how to burn music to a music CD. Uh, first, you want to go out and buy some uh, CDRs. Uh, basically, these are um, CDs that are recordable uh, so that you can put them in your computer and burn them as you know, either storage or music CDs. Uh, nowadays, pretty much all computers have um, at least um, a CD burner in them. Uh, so it's safe to say that you have one. If you don't, you want to make sure that you do have one uh, and if you can go out and buy one, uh, an external one to plug in your USB if you don't have one. Um, but let's say you've got one in your computer. Uh, you basically just you know, open up your computer, put in your CDR, and uh, I'm going to use iTunes because you know, iPods are pretty much dominating the market and iTunes is similar to other music programs. So I'm just going to show you how to burn a CD using iTunes. So uh, we've got it open, and iTunes is similar. It's pretty much the same thing with Windows and Mac, so it really doesn't matter which operating system you're using because these will all apply to both. Uh, I've gone ahead and I've created a playlist and dragged um, all the songs that I want to be on my CD. Uh, for this, I'm doing old 80s metal bands. Um, and again, when you do it, it'll show you the uh, you know time. And uh, usually, you can only fit 74 minutes on a regular CD. So, you know that's about an hour and 14 minutes. So you want to make sure. Right now, I'm a little bit over. I'm an hour and 14 minutes and six seconds. So I don't really want to push it. So I'll probably delete one of my songs because it'll try to span it over a bunch of CDs. So now I've got 15 songs and uh, it's pretty much ready to go. So I've selected my playlist and I've got all the songs up in the order that I want them. Um, if, you don't, if you want in a different order, you can grab them and move them around, but I'm good with that. So then you're just gonna go down here to the burn disc button and just hit burn disc. iTunes is gonna start looking at it to make sure it's good to go. And uh, now it's gonna start burning. And then once it's done, uh, iTunes will let you know and uh, you can eject it and uh, take it to your car or take it to a party or wherever you're going with it and uh, you've got your music CD.